was trying to find the words. <laughs> All right, so boom, check it out, y'all. Welcome back to Kitchen Culture. And today we're gonna be actually whipping up something that's healthy. Ish. A little bit, kinda. Uh, we're gonna be making some crispy baked wings, all right? So you save on the calories with the grease and everything like that. Then we're gonna toss it in a honey garlic sauce. And then we got a homemade ranch to go with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I tell you homemade ranch is way better. But without all talking, look, we're gonna go ahead and get off into the recipe. But before we do that, head to the description box below so that way you can go ahead and get all the ingredients listed and you can follow along and make this with me. And then also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be kept up to date with all the recipes coming your way, all right? But without further ado, let's get into it. I do my thing in the kitchen. My name is Cord, I'm for the culture, and I'm here with a vision. We here to talk, chop it up. They say the odds are stacked against us. <laughs> we ain't seen that bet. And the things we do in kitchens, y'all ain't seen that shit. Yes, Lord, let me talk. Listen, man, we here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we here for a great time. You know, I'm turned into Kitchen Culture Podcast. All right, so let's get off into some things, all right? So chicken wings is actually real easy to do, whether you want to bake them, fry them, air fry them, grill them, however. So you're going to get you a whole wing. It's way cheaper than getting them already pre-cut. And we're going to make the process simple. So you see, each wing has like a little joint, which is kind of like a weak spot. Get you either a sharp knife or you get some kitchen shears and then just make a cut. Boom. Cut that off. Also, make sure you pluck these feathers. Get them out. You can cut them off, whatever. And then I'm gonna cut the tip off. If you leave it on, you greedy. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, set these aside in the bowl, and then we're just gonna repeat the process. What you wanna do is go ahead and pat these down dry really good. Get any sort of excess water or moisture out. The drier the skin is, the crispier it's gonna be. Nobody want no soggy skin ass wings. You know what I'm saying? Now the seasoning of these wings, all right, is real, real, real simple. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna add us some mustard. You get spicy brown. You can get yellow mustard. Don't really too much matter. But go ahead and hit that over with that mustard. We're gonna throw some hot sauce on there. It'd be Louisiana. It could be Cholula. It could be whatever floats your boat. But we're gonna add a little bit of Cholula. Get some orange pepper seasoning. With this, you're gonna just kind of eyeball it because this is gonna be where your sodium comes from primarily. So I would say, since we got like a little bit over two, two and a half pounds, a teaspoon per pound. Garlic powder. So a little Caucasian pepper. You really ain't gotta do too, too much with this because, because crazy enough, like the heat on this does carry a little bit. So just be mindful of that. And last, but most importantly, we're gonna add in my counter slap signature seasoning, all right? We put this on all your meats, it's low sodium, so if you're a little heavy-handed, don't even trip on it, all right? Go ahead and hit them wings with that. All the details on grabbing this will be in my YouTube shop and in the description box below. Okay, now, even though we're throwing this in the oven, we can still make this crispy, all right? So what we're gonna do is get some cornstarch and then just hit that over the top. Yeah, we're gonna get this mixed in real good with our wings. So that's two big spoons or two tablespoons. And we're gonna get one good size spoon of some baking powder. Now with the baking powder, be mindful of that because it actually does kind of carry a flavor a little bit. So if you go overboard with it, you can cancel when you just throw it out. Like it, it, it kind of leaves a weird, yeah. hard to explain, but if you ever done it, you, you you don't know. You don't want to overdo it with the baking powder. All right, so now go ahead and get them hands up in there. Go ahead and get to work in that. Now one thing about it, we want to make sure every piece of chicken is well coated in this season. Now if you want to, you can marinate this for up to two hours, you know, for a little extra flavor. But. All right, so look, now all you're going to do, we're going to line our baking sheet with some parchment paper. Let's put them wings on. Make sure you kind of social distance them just a little bit so that way they can get as crispy as possible, okay? With this wire right here, what it's gonna do is allow for this to cook evenly on both sides without you having to flip it. And it's gonna get this skin crispier. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why we do it this way. It's almost like the same effect as if you was cooking in an air fryer. 
So we're gonna throw these in the oven at 400 for about 40 to 50 minutes. So while waiting on that to finish up, you gotta tap in with my cookbook Kitchen Culture. All right, the best Big Bag cookbook on the market. I mean, it ain't all Big Bag recipes. It's like a good three vegetable recipes. You know, I kind of felt like I overdid a little bit, but just let me let me put you on real quick. So it's all sorts of recipes up in this thing. So you got some buffalo chicken sliders up in there, honey chipotle garlic shrimp, you know what I mean? Cocktails, hey, that, that's me. Some basil garlic lamb chops deep fried ribs, you know what I'm saying? It's all sorts of stuff in here from deep fried goodness to, to holiday meals, mac and cheese, cocktails. The possibilities is endless, but look, grab you a copy of the book through my YouTube shop or hit the description box below. But back to the recipe though. For our sauce, it's real simple, all right? So we got a cup of some melanated sugar, or if you want to be proper about it, it's, it's a cup of some brown sugar. Light or dark, it, it don't really matter, but then we're gonna add us another cup to a cup and a half of some peach crown. Or you can use peach nectar if you feel kind of indifferent or you feel a way about using alcohol. It's gonna cook off anyway. But it leave a great flavor behind, so we're gonna go ahead and add this in. All we gotta do is just pour this in our pot and then let it simmer. Then we're gonna add us a little bit of mustard on in here. So I'm using some spicy brown mustard. You can use Dijon, that's fine, or yellow mustard, either way. Either get you some honey, I'm using some honey cream syrup because that's what I had left in the cabinet. I'm not gonna go back to the stove. But we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that in. All right, and we're gonna add some Shea Shea sauce. Sriracha. Sriracha. All right, so now just go ahead and whisk this around until we get like one nice mixture. And you can do this in a bowl, you can do this in whatever. I just did this for measurement purpose. All right, last but not least, add you a little bit of garlic paste up in there. Go ahead and get that nice and mixed up. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this mixture into our saucepan. Get all that sugar that's left down there at the bottom. So we're gonna bring this mixture up to a low boil. Once we get it there, we're gonna reduce that temperature down to like a medium low to low and, and let that simmer while the wings finish out. So probably about like another 15, 20 minutes. You see how this coming up to a boil? That's what we want. So the sugar done dissolved into the mixture, how we want it. Everything is one nice consistent mixture. Now we're gonna turn that heat on down. We're gonna let this simmer for about a good 15 to 20 minutes while the wings finish up. Now we got our wings nice and crispy. So now after that, after that 45 minutes, I did flip them over and then just broil them for a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that both sides was extra, extra crispy. That sounded like that just came out the grease, didn't it? <laughs> Stop playing. All right, so honestly, you can eat this straight up just like this. You ain't gotta put no sauce on it because it's seasoned to the bone, you feel what I'm saying? So, all right, we're gonna add this into a bowl. So, we got our sauce. Go ahead, pour that over these wings. Mm-hmm. I like them extra wet, you feel what I'm talking about? All right, give them a nice little toss. And some parts, I swear, if we could own shares in this shit with the parsley, boy. So we're going with the drums. Or flats. Which one are you rocking with? Let me know in the comments. All right, so to make a ranch is so easy. And it tastes way better than getting out the bottle, you know what I'm saying, from the stove. So look, get you some real mayonnaise. If you're gonna do mayonnaise, get you either Dukes or Hellman's. So we're gonna get us about a good two to three tablespoons of that, right? Hefty tablespoons. A big old dollar of some side cream. So about a good healthy size tablespoon. All right, so we're gonna add us in some garlic paste. All right, so get you cheat code. Cheat code, don't tell nobody I told you this. All right, look, <laughs> peep gang to lock in real quick. We're gonna use some ranch seasoning from Hidden Valley. And honestly, that takes a lot of guesswork out, but we're gonna add some of that into our little mixture here. Get that garlic and herb seasoning in there. It can be Kinder's, it can be whoever. Then to bring this all together, we're gonna slowly whisk in some buttermilk, all right? So go bit by bit, because you don't want this to be too thin. Man, see, I could really go into like a high protein slash healthier bag, but I want the big bag stuff. So that's what I'm gonna give y'all. 
but we can do some medium back slash D bigging of the back series. We're getting close to the holidays now, so you know what I mean? If you ain't made it at this point, which starting 2025. That's actually terrible advice. <laughs> yes, sir, Ski. Spicy honey garlic wings. I'm not gonna lie, I'd have been a terrible waiter if I ever worked in a restaurant. But <laughs> these hoes right here is fire. <laughs> mm. That is so smooth. <laughs> Let me eat one more just to make sure it tastes like how I think it tastes. With the homemade ranch. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, Lord. <sighs> not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna share these. <laughs> yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs> you tuned into the Chef Cool in the Kitchen. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Matter of fact, we're here for a great time. Yes, Lord, let me talk. <laughs> 